Uh, you know, I, I would stay with that. I would stay with that. Um, uh, it'll be in that time frame. I'd say two to four weeks, just depending on. And Frank sounds like he's possible for Saturday. Yeah, he's Saturday. possible for Saturday. We're hoping for Saturday. Um, you know, see how he see how he did here today, and then uh, go through practice tomorrow. We're hoping for Saturday. And Andreas. Andreas, uh, I would say he's day to day, but he's definitely out today. Um, didn't skate obviously, so that probably puts him out Saturday, unless he uh, unless he feels way better tomorrow and skates tomorrow. He'll have to go through a full practice tomorrow in order to play on Saturday. Same thing with DK too. Uh, DK, I would say, was very close to playing today. Uh, I would expect them for Saturday. You're, uh, so you go with 11 and 7? Uh, 11 and 7 to today. I can't even play with yeah. math today. 11 and 7. Yeah. Well, let's talk about the decision uh, to call up uh, Megan uh, instead of, say, like in. Yeah, no, you know what? I like Christopher Ann a lot as a player, and at one point we were uh, we were going to go uh, with both of them. And, and um, what, what I've been told from down there is Megan's been their best player every single night, and I would say he had a real good training camp. Um, they're both similar in that I think they're real accountable defensively. Um, and so, you know, I think it was a real close decision, but we decided to go with Megan this time. He has a little bit more of an offensive game at this point too, maybe? Or yeah, he's got a little more offensive game. And, and the other thing with Ann is, is, you know, we'd like, to not be a roller coaster if we can avoid it. And so if, if, if you're getting a similar type player and maybe adding a little bit more offense, uh, it, it allows Megan and her to, to stay put for now.